All right, we'll try revision three. And we'll do something here from HD Nation. And the volume on this is pretty loud, so we can turn it down a notch. Coming up on today's episode, an awesome bargain surround sound receiver. What does DVDO do? Black out your living room and the Blu-ray releases for the week of May 3rd, 2010. This is HD Nation. You can see that the CPU is pretty low on uh, HD Nation videos. And we'll give it a stop here and we'll go on forward. And we'll let's see, we'll get one of the movies here. We'll start nine. This is from a video that I own, ripped to my server. You see that even streaming from the server, you're getting only about 12% CPU in the far right hand corner. If you can see that, I'll blow it up. It's crystal clear. I mean, it's smooth, especially with the serving up a file on a local network on the server over a 100 uh, megabit wired connection. Okay, we'll go over here and we'll try a music. Uh, let's see, we'll do some Bootsy Collin. Because I use a custom background, other than the de default boxy, your visual visualizations show up anytime you play music or uh, play a movie. It'll show through on the menu screen. Um, so but that's just uh, that's just part of how boxy works when you change from the default uh, backgrounds. You can see the menus work really good. They're quick. They're fast. Um, in the Acer Revo. Let's see. We'll go ahead and we'll do some photos. Uh, let's see. How about this? Well, I think this has got some beta captures. We'll start down here and flip through a few. See, beta's got a built-in uh, uh, picture viewer. You can tell it to do it automatically and give you a slideshow or you can use the buttons to move forward. You can see it, it works as fast as I can as fast as I can go through it. Uh, let's see, we'll open up another app here. This is a new weather application uh, made by Boxy Supermod uh, DPK. Works really nice. Gives your local weather for a week. Gives you current temp. Gives you radar or select different kind of maps you can choose. Uh, it's got a lot of cool options. Uh, it's even got weather radio if you're if there's one in your area. So it's kind of cool. So you can see what you got for the next couple of days. Of course, you got the Media Fly, new Media Fly app that's uh, put out by Agent Lame, also super mod over at uh, Boxy Beta Forms. You can see what I got going on here. I got a few of my already favorite set up. Got the nightly news. 
course, you got Pandora, Netflix, and that. We'll start Netflix. That's another popular one besides uh, Hulu and all those others that are uh, network TVs. Let's see. And we'll do something new like Bizarre Foods. Pick something that's fairly new so we can see the video quality. And if you're familiar with Netflix, it does its normal thing. It's got a buffer and log in. And, and then you've got about 20 seconds of pixelation with Netflix, uh, whether it's in Boxy or a browser. It seems to do the same habits. And then after it buffers, uh, after it plays, then it clears up. It's clearing up. See, Netflix plays really good. And then, just like Hulu or NBC or anything else or Netflix, the quality of the video really depends on the show. Some shows are, are the encryption is really nice and it's crystal clear, and then, and then others are a little bit grainy. It just depends on how well they uh, they ripped it on their side on Netflix. The movies are typically very clear. And again, you can see the menus are really quick. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Not really. And of course, you've got your favorite bar down here that you can have your favorite apps right in the front page here, you know, to, for quick access. See, I've got something to my server directly, a folder of a couple different videos that I, I can't really put on anywhere else or inventory because they're not uh, mainstream movies or home movies. Um, Let's see, we showed, we did the photos, the music, uh, we can go up here to settings. Uh, the new Boxy Beta has uh, the ability to manually resolve uh, movies and music on the server. So if, it, if something doesn't get um, run through IMDB and give you a thumb and a description and doesn't index properly, you can see here I got a couple missing files. This one here is my local videos that I've shot with the Flip Video. So, uh, of course, it won't be able to index those. I've got 66 missing ones here that haven't been identified. You can come up here and look at them individually and uh, then manually uh, add them, uh, resolve them, if you will. Um, it seems my Ren and Stimpies aren't being resolved for this, for this uh, version of Boxy for some reason, though it has done so in the past. Um, eh, I've already done everything that I can really do, so I really can't demo it. Let's see, I'll go back to, um, I'll go to a movie here that it has been done. Let's say if you've got 310 to Yuma and it hasn't been indexed properly, you can also come here within the video. Uh, in the file settings, you can do videos that weren't indexed at all. But let's say it was indexed and it was indexed incorrectly, you can come here and select wrong video. And it would normally, a lot of times it would load the name of the video right here. Uh, or if there's nothing, you can actually type it in. You can actually change your default name. Uh, let's say there's, uh, you can put it in there and hit search, um, and then see it has no results found. So what you want to do is you're going to have to type in, say, uh, 310 to Yuma. And then hit search, and you'll see it comes up. If you select it, and if it's right, you hit done. And if it was wrong, it'll now be right. <laughs> so, as you can see, uh, I only had to do maybe three or four movies that didn't get indexed properly. And most, 99% of them work just fine right from the get-go. So I think that's pretty much it for Boxy. Let's go ahead and close that out. 
Let me give you a good overview of what it's doing. 